we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm actually really excited for this uh, video. Someone suggested it to me and then um, it just sounded really fun. Today we're going to do a my assistant picks my food for the day. So it's like what I eat in a day but I'm not picking any of the food. It's gonna be a new recipe that I haven't done before. Yeah, I'm super pumped because I kind of tend to eat the same thing all the time just because I'm so busy. So I'm super, super excited for this. Hey guys, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, I do all kinds of things, everything in the vegan world. We do a lot of copycat recipes and turning, you know, vegetables and ingredients into your favorite meaty and cheesy dishes. Um, so hit that subscribe button if that's something that you're into. All right, so if uh, you're new here, you don't know Molly, but if you have been around here for a while, you definitely know who Molly is. And uh, she's going to be picking all of my recipes today from breakfast to dinner, plus dessert, so Molly. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Molly. Um, oh my God, I'm so nervous for this for no reason. Today, I have a whole day of eating planned for Candice. So first we have a smoothie that's sort of a caramel apple theme smoothie. And then for lunch, we're going to do her Caesar salad from her cookbook, which I love and I eat all the time. Oh, and I did change the dressing on it. Instead of cashews, we're using soft tofu, but I've already made the dressing, so that's all ready to go. And then for dinner, it's a falafel recipe that I've been making for years and I just wanted to share with Candice, so this is the best way to do that. The plan for dessert was chocolate chip blondies, and I think they came out more as cookie bars, so they're tasty chocolate chip squares. There we go. I'm really excited. I don't know why I'm so nervous for Candace to eat my food. I think because I eat Candace's recipes like every single day. So yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I hope she likes them. I hope she is satisfied and satiated by the end of the day. Yeah, I think this will be fun. I think this is really interesting. Okay, here we go. Welcome to my smoothie station. I'm very excited to test this recipe out. So it's apple caramel smoothie. Let's do it. We got some dates. So I'm assuming that's giving us the caramel flavor, some plant-based milk. We pretty much only use soy and almond, or, or sorry, not almond, soy and oat around here. Uh, it says half of a banana, protein powder, one scoop. I have just a little bit of this. It's about a scoop of this protein powder left, so I'm just gonna dump it right in from the container. Quarter teaspoon cinnamon, of hemp hearts, and then the apple, of course, which it's half an apple, so I'm gonna cut that really quick. And blend. Mmm. Smoothie's really good. Kinda tastes like like apple pie. I'm getting apple pie from this. It's really tasty. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely do this one again. It's very, very tasty, and um, I will add it to my repertoire. So for lunch, Molly picked a chicken Caesar salad. I'm here at my um, my garden, just picking some, some lettuce. I have regular lettuce and romaine to choose from. I also have arugula, but it's, it's just a baby right now. I guess I could use the sorrel too. All right, first thing I'm going to do is give my greens a quick chop. Then I'm going to cook up the chicken. Chicken. Um, I'm just using like a packaged tofurkey, I think is the brand um, that made that chicken. Yeah, then we're gonna throw the salad together. You know how to make salad. Chicken, it's a vegan chicken here. So I'm just going to cook it up in my little frying pan here. Um, and then I'll just like probably just douse it in franks and Voila, a salad. Simple and easy. Don't have to complicate things. Now we dress our salad. I think we can all agree that heavy dressing is necessary for a Caesar salad. So that's where we're going with this. Plus, Molly doesn't like lettuce, so we're gonna, <laughs> but I do, um, and we're all going to eat the salad. Um, so we're gonna co really cover up this lettuce with some dressing. We love dressing. Dressing is so good. Yay! I can't remember the last time I had a Caesar salad. I don't make it often anymore. There was a period of time where I was making this a lot. 
All right, I'm gonna add some buffalo sauce, give that a toss, and then add that to the salad. I've also done this with um, veggie nuggets, quick, simple way to do this. And then they're like super crunchy too, but this is what I had on hand. And I have to have a lot of food on hand at all times, so I really do try to eat what's in my fridge. And then we're gonna add our croutons and our bacon. I'm just gonna give this like a rough toss so not, not everything turns red. Croutons and some simulated bacon bits, because that's what I have. Sometimes I have like rice paper bacon on hand, but today I do not. And voila, plate time. All right, I mean, I know that I'm gonna love this. Mm. I like this day of eating by Molly. All the good recipes so far. This is so good. If you want the recipe for this, it is in my cookbook which you should buy if you don't have it. It looks like this, but I do have a version of my Caesar dressing on my blog too, so I'll link that. Mmm, very good day of eating so far. All right, I guess we can uh, film some TikToks and come back for dinner. Look at his hair. Yes, I'm so jealous of his hairline. <laughs> Just woke up. Okay, you wanna go outside? I am super nervous for Candace to try this because I make this recipe like probably once a week. I'll just make like a huge triple batch and then I can freeze it in containers or bags and then you just thaw it out, roll it into balls and deep fry them. So super easy for like make ahead, but I'm really nervous that Candace is gonna like it. This recipe is super simple, it's super cheap also. It's just like dried chickpeas, onion, garlic, uh, parsley and cilantro and then some spices and flour. Um, it can also be made gluten-free. Put everything in the food processor, pulse it all up, roll it into balls, and then deep fry it. Um, if you use canned chickpeas for this, it won't work. Don't even try. Um, and then pickled onions, obviously. Pickled onions belong on everything. Some diced tomatoes. I put it in like a pita or an, a naan or whatever kind of wrap. Flaky salt on top of the falafel after they come out of the fryer, obviously. Oh yeah, hummus. I like to serve my chopped up chickpea balls with some pureed chickpea on the side. You could even put roasted chickpeas on top. That would really, in case you weren't having enough gas, then go right ahead. <laughs> Everything I make is gassy meal. I just love beans. Am I talking about my farts on YouTube? <laughs> oh, I hope Candace really likes this recipe, but I also, if any of you guys make it, make sure you tag me on Instagram so I can see, and I will cry every single time somebody recreates my recipe. And then I'll send you a picture of me crying. So, you're welcome. <laughs> Bring in the chickpeas. Whoa. All right, we're gonna start by pouring the chickpeas into a food processor. That's chopped nuts, right? Do these look like chopped nuts? Yeah, this recipe is super forgiving because usually I don't measure anything, I just go. You know what else is super forgiving? This dress. I'm living my, oh, my sleeves. You gotta do it with the sleeve. Fashion. <laughs> Now we are going to add the onions, garlic, and pepper if using. Garlic, cilantro, parsley, lid. All right, and pulse that until onion pieces are similarly sized to the chickpeas. All right, chop nuts. Don't do that to onion. <laughs> We have this beautiful green salad. Got some flour, baking powder, cumin, and coriander, and salt. All right, then we mix this together, fold together. Try to make a ball with the mixture. If it doesn't hold together, add more flour one tablespoon at a time until it holds together. Yeah, those are really good instructions. Honestly, these are better than some of my instructions sometimes. That's why after we shoe, I always go in and I rewrite them because I'm like writing in a way that I know what I'm talking about, but when you write a recipe, so for all of you people out there, you can't just like write a recipe. It has to, you have to assume the body of a person that doesn't know how to cook and doesn't know what you're talking about. It's um, not as easy as people think it is. I learned how to write a recipe properly after I wrote my cookbook, because my publisher told me like what order things should be in and whatnot. And that's how I learned properly how to write a recipe. Sure, no one cares. <laughs> I've literally never made falafel. I used to work at a restaurant that served falafel. I won't name where it is, 
Um, and they used to say that they used green garbanzo beans and that's why the falafel was green. It was just green because there was a lot of parsley and cilantro inside. They thought it sounded really fancy. Ew, why would you put eggs in hummus? Well, now I'm curious as to what this place was. So I never go there. Hummus is one of those things that like, if you see hummus, like you just know it's vegan. It's almost like a guarantee. And these guys are putting eggs in their hummus? Straight to jail. Make sure if you make them in a pan that you have a lid on it so the oil doesn't splash up at you. But if you have a deep fryer, you're good. And don't bake them. I feel like someone's gonna say something about how messy it is. I don't think you understand how much work and mess it is to film these videos. <laughs> all right, so I have my falafels here, and then all the things to build a little sandwich situation. So I have this Israeli type salad, Middle Eastern style salad, kind of like a tabbouleh, but like not really. Um, some tomatoes. We have some pickled onion because pickled onion is elite. And I have some leftover hummus. So let's build. Try the falafel on its own, like dipped in the hummus. Mmm, this falafel are bomb. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. dude, I am not lying. This is so good. When you get a falafel and it's like dry, it's not that. It's like very soft on the inside, but not mushy. Not like I opened up a can of chickpeas and tried to make falafel. Do you make this for your family like multiple times a week? That's amazing. I wouldn't do that for you. I mean, I used to cook for my family. All right, well, we're gonna go eat this. I think I have dessert or a snack later, so I'll see you then. Hi, hello, I almost forgot. I am in bed, I'm so exhausted from filming today. I have like all of my skincare on. I'm very, very slick <laughs> with petroleum jelly, um, but I just remembered. I have these uh, blondies that Molly made. Yes, I'm eating them in bed. Blah. It's my bed. I can do what I want. Um, I'm totally going to have one. Before I go to sleep, I'm going to have to brush my teeth again, but whatever. Mm. Mm. This is... It's a Molly recipe! This is what happens when I freestyle bake. My family always thinks I'm chaotic when I do that. Exactly what I wanted. Oh my god. Well, that is today's video. Thank you for joining me in my meals today. Um, thank you to Molly for picking them all out. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like this type of video, and you'd like to see another one or something similar, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave requests in the comment section down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.